Hey everybody, welcome back. All right, so today we're gonna to talk about complementary and supplementary angles. Nice thing is you already know about these. Um, in the last section we talked about right angles and we talked about um, straight angles. And you're gonna see that there's a correlation here. All right, so complementary angles, two angles add up to 90 degrees, where a right angle is one angle that adds up to 90 degrees. So uh, you'll notice that there's just a little tiny thing here. Supplementary angles two angles added up to 180 degrees. Notice the straight angle was one angle that was 180 degrees. So, very, very similar. Now, how do we know whether angles are supplementary, complementary, or neither? We add. So when you look at these, let's see if you can find out, are these angles complementary, supplementary, or neither? Well, if you added 26 and 64 together, it adds up to be 90. So this would be a set of complementary angles. 136 plus 44, that adds up to 180, and so that ends up getting you supplementary angles. Well, here at number three, 70 plus 19, well, that adds up to 89. That's not 90 or 180, so this is neither, or neither, whichever you like. So, complementary angles. So, what if I gave you this? We know that these are complementary angles. They add up to 90 degrees, and so now we can make an equation. If we subtract 42 and subtract 42 from both sides, we end up getting x equals 48. Why don't I let you guys try this one? I'll help you by setting up the equation. Notice, angle number one, 2x minus 3. 2x plus negative 3, angle number 2, x. And we know, because of this box, that they equal 90 degrees. So, I combine my like terms. I add 3 to both sides, and then I divide both sides by 3. Now x equals 31, which means 2x plus negative 3 equals 59. 31 plus 59 equals 90. Do you guys get to see how we play? All right, what about 180 degrees? Can you figure this one out? All right, I'm back. Did you set up the equation or did you just do some quick arithmetic? Always make sure to set up the equation. Then when you do your arithmetic, you get your answer. Why do we want to set up the equation? Because what if they get a little bit more complicated like this one? Not going to be as easy to do just with some arithmetic, but if you set up the equation, you're going to find that it's nice and simple. Subtract 46 from both sides. 4x equals 34, so when you divide by 4 and divide by 4, x equals 33.5, which of course would mean 4 times x plus 5 would be 139. And 139 plus 41 equals 180. All right, that's it. Any questions, make sure to ask your teachers. All right, guys? Take care.